Most of you know that we take in food or eat food by putting it in our mouth, and you probably know that we get rid of food or parts of food when we go to the bathroom and do number two, or poop. Sometimes grown-ups call that feces or bowel movement. <clears throat> but have you ever thought about what happens to the food between your mouth and your bottom, specifically your anus, the hole in your bottom? Not only is food yummy or make you feel better when you're hungry, but food is fuel or energy for your body to do all the things you need and want to do, like play soccer, talk to a friend, or breathe. Your body uses all the good stuff in food like vitamins, proteins, and fats. That's why it's so important to eat healthy foods full of good nourishment. Let's look at what happens when you eat a snack. We'll use a picture of the digestive system on my shirt. <clears throat> when you put food into your mouth and start to chew it, digestion begins. You break the food down with your teeth into smaller and smaller pieces. You have different teeth that do different jobs. We use our front teeth or incisors to bite off food. We then use our molars in the back to ground it up. Once the food is small enough, we swallow it using our tongue. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to mention that the, sp that the spit or saliva in your mouth also helps us break down food and swallow it. Saliva is pretty important. That's why whenever you smell something yummy or your mouth waters, it makes more saliva. It is getting ready for digestion. Once you swallow the chewed up food, or bolus as we call it now, it moves down a long tube called the esophagus. And this here, this long dark tube, is the esophagus. The muscles around the esophagus contract or squeeze the bolus down. So you eat food, chew it up with your molars, you grind it up, and then you swallow it using your tongue, and then your muscles contract and push the bolus down the esophagus. Once the bolus reaches the bottom of the esophagus, is the esophagus, it enters into the stomach through the lower esophageal sphincter, kind of like a door to the stomach. The light pink stomach here, and here's the stomach, has a pretty important job. Inside the stomach, special gastric juices are made that help to chemically break down the food. Once the stomach gets finished doing its job, the food you ate looks sort of like melted ice cream, and we call that calm. To leave the stomach, food goes through another sphincter and into the small intestines. The small intestines are the long, orange, curled up, uh, you know, thing right here on my shirt. It looks all curled up because it's super long, about 20 feet in length. A lot happens in the small intestines, and some other organs help out to finish the job of digestion. <clears throat> the small yellow pancreas, right here, under the stomach, sends help or enzymes over, while the dark pink liver makes bile and stores it right here in the small green gallbladder. So right here, your pancreas helps send, send enzymes over, and the dark pink liver makes bile that's stored in the gallbladder. <clears throat> bile helps to break down fats from the small intestines. Food particles are absorbed from the small intestines lining and go into the bloodstream. <clears throat> there are small finger-like structures called the small intestine wall. These are called villi and absorb the good stuff or nutrients as the food passes through. Once the nutrients travel through the bloodstream, they are delivered to the body's cells. This, along with a little help from the respiratory system, helps our body produce energy. So now you might be wondering, what happens to the food the cells don't use? If you don't digest it, or if the body can't use it, you get rid of it. You get rid of this waste, this stuff moves in the large intestine. See the blue large intestine is right here. It's a long, thicker blue structure around the smaller, small intestine. Waste passes through the large intestine, some water is absorbed, and feces is formed. Remember, feces, the grown-up word for number two, or poop. Near the end of the large intestine is the rectum. Here it is down here. <clears throat> um, kind of like the waiting room for the feces. The very end of the large intestine is called the anus. The anus is the opening where the waste leaves the body when you go to the bathroom. So now you know what happens to food once you eat it. Digestion is pretty cool, kind of gross, but necessary to help our bodies function like they should. So let's wrap this up so we can all go get a snack and start the process of digestion. Thank you for watching my video and just to summarize, as you eat, as you eat food, it goes down the esophagus into the stomach, then from the stomach to the small intestine where all the nutrients is absorbed into the bloodstream 
and then the excess food goes into the large intestine where water is removed and the feces is formed, and then it's eventually and then it eventually leaves the rectum whenever you uh, go to the bathroom or do number two. Thank you for watching my video.